Hi, I'm Renee Pope, and I'm 13 years old, and I live in Amarillo, Texas. And this is my horse, TRR Stylish Kit, and I call her Kit for short. And we're participating in the American Quarter Horse Association Ranch and Heritage Breeders Young Horse Development Project. I got Kit at Tongue River Ranch, and when I went to look at weanlings, and Tongue River Ranch is in Paducah, Texas, um, there were about 50 weanlings there. I didn't think it was possible to choose one out, but I wanted a filly, so that singled them down a little, but there were still a lot to choose from. But she caught my attention with her star. She had really nice white markings, and I could almost walk up to her. She seemed pretty gentle. She'd come up and look in the back truck windows, and I walked around several acres of property looking through groups of weanlings, and she followed me from group to group, and the horse manager says, hey, she looks like she's saying, pick me, take me home. <laughs> I heard about this program because my mom told me that through the America's Horse Daily email she had heard about it and um, I, she got another email about it and I was really interested in trying it. I'd like to train horses. I think that would be a really neat, fun thing to do and especially little ones. I think that they learn really fast. What I hope to gain through this program is I really hope to have a very well trained horse and I want to be part of the horse industry. She's really sweet, but she's kind of lazy. <laughs> she does not like to move her feet. She does have a hard time with wanting to lunge for respect. She will, when I first started, I mean, that was really a big challenge for me because she'd rear and refuse to move because she just said, I'm not gonna move. <laughs> so I had to really work through that and get her moving her feet. The program is pr pretty neat because you fill out an application and you are accepted into the program and you write monthly reports on our progress. Um, I'm going to fill out a project book, meet with a professional AQHA horseman, and show kit. And those are some of the things the project asks for. I usually just groom her with this grooming kit and play with her and she likes to organize it. So I let her do that, I let her organize it while I groom her, which I think she likes pretty well. <laughs> yeah, her, she loves to organize that grooming kit. And I call it my kit for kit. She seems to have a ton of personality. Yes, she does. And like I said, I really am pleased that she's not afraid to try new things and get close to them. And she's not very skittish because she thinks it's too much work to run away or to throw too much of a hissy fit. Although she can, she is capable of it. Just doesn't a lot. I tried to put a tail bag on her a few times and because I wanted to, you know, condition her tail out. But every time in the morning I go, it's gone. So I have to walk all around and try to find it. I guess she doesn't like it. In the short run, um, pretty soon I'm going to teach her trailer load, lunge for respect stage two, four methods of backing up on the ground, and trailer loader, take her to the vet. But um, my long range goals for her, like when she's grown up, is I want her to be a cutting horse. I've decided that she would probably do pretty good at it. She has cutting bloodlines. Um, and I think that she'd do good at it because she doesn't like to move a lot and a good cutting horse, as I understand, would rather watch for the whole cow and make their moves after the cow or not after the cow, but they'd want to make as few moves as possible and not be jigging all over the place. So I think she wouldn't make a bad cutting horse and I'd want her be all around. I'd like to maybe do some barrels on her if she's not too lazy. And maybe even teach her to jump a little, because we have a cutting bear that jumps. <laughs>
She wants to are trying to desensitizing her to a plastic bag and we tied it right there on the fence and she ate part of it before we could get it away. And I was leading her out here and there was a hose on the ground and she thought it was a snake. So she started attacking it and shaking it in her teeth and, and pouncing on it. I thought she might cut the hose. And it took me a while to figure out why she, what she thought it was, but when I figured it out, it was a pretty good laugh. And she likes to, she's picked up my training stick a few times and waved it around while walking. And that's been kind of funny because I think she's trying to get me a lunge. <laughs> So yeah, there's been some funny things that have happened with Kit. Definitely seeing Kit learn to do things is very um, fun to know, to, to know that you taught her that and that's why she knows it. That's very rewarding, I guess you would say, to know that and it's really fun. And it'll be really and a lot more fun probably when I start her under saddle. <laughs> that will be pretty fun. Thanks for being with us today and we'll see you next time.